Hello everyone, welcome to the allotment. It's slightly windy today and there is a chillness in the air. But we are here, so let's have a look what's going on. Let's have a look at blight affected tomatoes. The black marking on the stems are what's blight. See there on the stem there's a black marking. When you have blight damage, the fruit will look somewhat like this and it will spread quickly with moisture in the air. So it's ideal to remove the plant immediately and not put it in the compost bin because the fungus will not die. Bin it in your dumping black bin bag. The main thing what we are doing today is digging up our potatoes that we sowed back in March. But it doesn't look very good, uh, the harvest. So far, we've got very few potatoes. While we were digging, uh, what I've noticed is that the potatoes are very small in size. This could be that the first two lines of potatoes were early new potatoes. So that's why they are small. Uh, and But the harvest is very little, not a lot. Ideally, we should be getting for, for one seed potato, you should be getting more than two or three kilos of potato harvest, but we are not we have got very little from it. I have been struck by some huge nettle uh, bushes. So I'm just pulling them out. I mean, between the raspberries. She's watering my plants, but the way she's watering, I'm thinking my plants will fly off. <laughs> Bless her. What I've noticed is the pot this is halfway through. The potatoes are very small in size. Meanwhile, me and my son together are pulling out some carrots. They are ready, so we're just assessing where to do them from. Some good harvest, good sized carrots. Ah, that broke off. Uh, that's a very interesting shape. It's almost like it's got a ring in in between the carrot. So. It, so far it's it's all right uh, the carrots are good sized and i can't see m huge damage done by um slugs or snails that's one carrot that broke off it's a big one it's a big one um, as I was saying, I can't see huge amount of damage from me, uh, mealybugs or snails and also carrot fly. I will have a check once I cut the carrots open to see if, if there is uh, any carrot fly damage.
that's a huge carrot he's trying to get it out without breaking he's trying every 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 way by uh, taking out as much as this soil out that's all the carrot we've got today from that area i think that will be the last carrot we are trying to get out because there's so many carrots that we have already pulled out so it's he's trying his best to get the whole carrot out in one piece In the end the carrot broke it came in two pieces it's a decent sized carrot it would have been lovely to see it in full size so that's the area so it's half of two rows that we dug up and we decided to stop because there were so many carrots we got two full plates of carrots uh, so we stopped we decided to stop what we are doing is we are washing the mud off from the allotment itself so that I don't carry the mud back to home. Meanwhile, he is still continuing to dig up the potatoes. That's all the potatoes we got, around 8 kilos of potatoes from 2 kilos of seed potatoes. So it's not really a good harvest. And these are the carrots, 2 plates that we took from the two uh, two half rows so i've brush washed them left them to dry and then i'll store them properly so they look really good and healthy uh, even the leaves are healthy i'm i will not throw away the leaves because we use the leaves as just like dill leaves for subjis and uh, so saute them with some kind of pulses and it tastes really nice this carrot has got quite a lot of slug damage but otherwise as I mentioned earlier they haven't got a lot of damage some majority of them are without any damage at all so I hope you enjoyed this harvest video see you soon with another one